Mounting material track. Adjust the height to make the workpiece roll freely. Mounting fixture. Fit in the appropriate fixture, usually without replacement. Check the cylinder clamping action. Put in the workpiece to adjust the height of the fixture. Adjust high or low by screw. Press the right clamp button. Same debugging method on the other side. Since the tap is blocked, it is necessary to withdraw the tap first while the other half starts tapping. Manual start right tapping. Commissioning the left side after stopping. Put in the workpiece. Press the left clamp button. It is normal when the induction lamp is on after being clamped. In addition, there is an induction lamp in the cylinder. The light will come on when the feeding is finished. When the lamp is on, the workpiece is clamped and the cylinder automatically retracts. If the feeding stroke is not enough, the cylinder stroke can be adjusted. It can be adjusted by releasing the lock nut. The magnetic induction switch is used to monitor the presence of material. Here, the induction switch controls the length of tapping respectively. The automatic mode can be started after the debugging of the workpieces on both sides is completed. It is important to note that all sensing switches on the machine must be in the correct position. Otherwise, full automation cannot be started. Thank you. 